good evening all of you we will may wait one minute for others to join and then start okay Good evening, good evening. Okay, let's start then. So, uh, we have completed vectors. Uh, like the theory part, most of it we have covered it. And some of them, like uh, one, two topics, I think we have not covered. Very small topics are there. So I think we'll do it in today's class or coming classes while doing the questions. Okay. So there are some typical questions that we need to do in vectors. So today, as you can see the heading, we are going to do questions on dot product of two vectors. You can see clearly. So we'll be doing dot product of two vector scale question. So please note, these are very good questions. JE level questions. We'll be doing that. Okay, guys. And tomorrow, sorry, day of uh, next on the next lecture. Next lecture is on Monday. So Monday we'll be doing questions on cross product. And let me tell you again, uh, with the revised JE portion, I hope you know, there is no HTP and no VTP. That means HTP and VTP have been cancelled out from the portion of JEE means January attempt. So we'll not be doing that. So our time is saved. That's why we have to focus extra on dot product and cross product. Because mainly HTP, VTP say questions are there in JE. Like one question was fixed to from HTP or from VTP. So if not, it is not there, then they might ask in dot and cross. So we need to practice more dot and cross. So let's start with the first question. Yeah. One second, guys. Uh, I'll just, I think I have not deleted the solutions. Give me two seconds. I'll just do it. Yeah, so sorry for the inconvenience. Let's see. Let's see the question and tell me what you can do here. Come on, guys. Here, we have to find this value. 
so it is very simple just use a minus b the whole square in terms of vectors so that will be a square so this will become a raised to 4 minus 2 a bar dot b bar upon a square b square plus b square upon b raised to the power 4. So here I'll get 1 upon a square minus this I can write 2 a b cos theta upon a square b square plus 1 upon b square. Here I can cancel out a b once and let's group it together. So what I'll be left with 1 upon a square plus 1 upon b square minus 2 cos theta upon a b. So here what can I do is guys uh, I think uh, we can take LCM right. So I'll get a square plus b square minus 2 a b cos theta upon a square b square. So what is the above formula is above formula is a minus b a vector minus b vector the whole square upon a square b square. That means I can write this as a vector minus b vector upon a b the whole square. This is my answer. Uh, what is the option? Uh, yes, I think it is option 3. Correct? Let's move on to the next question. This one. So, there is a vector A which is perpendicular to vector B. And the scalar product of vector A and C is 4. Then we have to find the value of X and Y. So, we know that if a vector A is perpendicular to vector B. That means A vector dot B vector is equals to 0. Uh, how can we write the dot product? Dot product in kya karna hota hai? A vector B vector ka just multiply and add the coefficients. So I'll get X minus Y plus 2 is equals to 0. That means x minus y is equal to minus 2 equation number 1. Secondly, they are saying a vector dot c vector is 4. So what is a vector dot c vector? x plus 2y is equal to 4. This is equation number 2. What can we do? We can subtract 2 minus 1. So if I subtract 2 minus 1, I'll get 3y is equals to 6. That means y is equals to 2. And if I substitute y equals to 2 in 1, so I'll get from 1, I'll get x minus 2 is equals to minus 2. That means x equals to 0. So my answer is 0, comma 2. That is option number second. Okay. So yeah, next from next question, I'll be giving you some time to solve it and then I'll solve it. Okay. So yeah, let's see the next question. I'll give you one or two minutes. Please note, these are all questions of J. Correct? Not all, most of them. Others I have taken from a book or a module only. So what do you can say about this? Come on, let's solve. There are two vectors, angle between the unit vectors. So M and N are unit vectors, okay. It's 60 degree. A bar is size of parallel, length of diagonals. Okay, uh, this is very simple. Diagonals will be a vector plus b vector and a vector minus b vector. So therefore, what will be length of diagonal? Length of diagonal will be magnitude of a vector plus b vector. 
what is magnitude of a vector plus b vector it is 3 m vector minus n vector correct let us square these or avoid squaring okay not square it what is magnitude of this we square it square is better because we know the formula it will give me 9 m square minus 6 m vector dot n vector plus n square now unit vector then that means m is equals to n is equals to 1 So I'll get nine minus six m n cos theta. Cos theta is sixty degrees plus one. So that means ten minus six into cos sixty is half. So three this is seven. What is the value of this? This is mod of a vector plus b vector plus square. So from this. i can easily get a vector plus b vector is under root of 7 so i think option second and third are gone because root 7 only are in option a and c let's find a vector minus b vector so a vector minus b vector will be equals to m vector plus 3n vector so let's square it on both sides again let's use the same formula it will be m square plus 6 m vector dot n vector plus n square correct guys your m square is 1 plus 6 m n cos 60 degree plus 1 this is basically 2 plus 6 into half which is equals to 5 so this is a vector minus b vector ka square so what will be a vector minus b vector it will be root 5 so one of the diagonals is root 7 second diagonal root 5 that means my option is a or the first option correct right, guys let's move to the next question okay this is a very good question on dot plug i'll give you again 1 minute to solve and then you can, uh, i'll start solving till then i'll drink some water let's start there are four vectors a b c and a plus b plus c whose magnitude is 1 a is perpendicular to b angle between a and c is alpha angle between b and c is beta okay so let's start with here i have been given a vector plus b vector plus c vector is equals to 1 let's square on both the sides so do you know the formula i think you know the formula because we did it in our lecture by studying dot product the formula is same as a plus b plus c the whole square what is the formula a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 a dot b plus 2 b dot c plus 2 a dot c is equals to 1 now we have been given a b and c is 1 so this will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 why 0 because a is perpendicular to b so plus 2 bc cos al cos beta yes this is cos beta angle between c and b is beta plus 2 ac cos alpha is equals to 1 so i'll get 1 and 1 will get cancelled i'll get 2 plus 2 cos alpha plus 2 cos beta is equals to 0 i can cancel out 2 so i get 1 plus cos alpha plus cos beta is equals to 0 that means 
cos alpha plus cos beta is equals to minus 1. What is my option, guys? It is option C, third one. Correct? Let's see the next question. I think you have to do this. I'll give you some time. I'll give you, I think, one minute is enough. Come on. Let's wait one minute. I want you all to give me an answer. Chalo. Let's see. Oh, this is square bracket. Correct. Let's see, guys, how or which answer you do give. Okay, let me start also. You continue with your, I also start. It is given that mod of a vector minus b vector is less than 1. We know the formula of square, so we square on both the sides. So I'll get a square minus 2a vector dot b vector plus b square is less than 1. Now it is given unit vectors a and b. So I can write 1 minus 2ab angle 2 theta. So that means angle is cos 2 theta plus 1 is less than 1. 1 and 1 will get cancelled. So I'll get 2 cos 2 theta. 1 minus 2 cos 2 theta is less than 0. That means 2 cos 2 theta is greater than 1. That means cos 2 theta is greater than how? What is cos 2 theta, guys? Do we know any formula? Yeah. It is 1 minus 2 sine square theta is greater than half. That means 2, I'll rearrange it, 2 sine square theta is less than half. Correct? So sine square theta is less than 1 by 4. That means sine theta lies between minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. I want the value of theta. So and theta lies between 0 to pi. So from here, uh, negative 4 seconds. So I'll get, I think, I think, I think. I'll get the answer theta belongs to. You can also see from the graph, guys, if you didn't understand this. This is 0, this is pi. Let's say this value is half. So I need to find these points. So my answer will be this, the red highlighted area, correct? So the red highlighted area is, this point is pi by 6 and this is phi pi by 6. That means theta belongs to 0 to pi by 6 union. Uh, uh -huh. 0 to pi by 6 union pi by 6 to pi. Correct? So my option, sorry, 5 pi by 6 to pi. My option should be option number A. I hope you understood. This is a mixture of questions based on vectors, inequalities, and trigonometry. So three chapters you need to know for this question to uh, solvable for this question to be solvable. Let's see the next question. Okay, again a good question it is. This question, let me tell you, is based on uh, your vector and your quadratic equation, guys. Quadratic equation. So, 
So let's read the question again. It is again JWE. Uh, the value of C so that for all real X make an obtuse angle. So let this vector be A vector and this vector be B vector. What are they making? An obtuse angle. If they make an obtuse angle, that means A vector dot B vector will be less than zero. We did this in dot product. I hope you remember it. Last to last lecture me kiya tha. That means we did this on Monday. We did this on Monday. So if I take dot product, I'll get CX square minus 12 plus 6CX less than zero. So if I rearrange, I'll get a quadratic equation in terms of X. Now, please remember this quadratic equation is less than zero. So that means my graph will look like this. This is X axis. This is my quadratic equation. Now this graph is only possible. This graph is only possible when the leading coefficient here it is C is negative and discriminant is less than zero. When the leading coefficient is negative and discriminant is less than zero. So that means C is less than zero equation number one. What is discriminant? Discriminant will be 36 C square plus 48 C is less than zero. I can cancel out 12. So 3 C square plus 4 C less than zero. So I can take C common, 3C plus 4 less than 0. So let's look at wavy curve. Here we'll get 0, here we get minus 4 by 3. So this will be the wave. I want the negative part. So that means C belongs to minus 4 by 3 to 0. This is equation number 2. Now, if I take one intersection two, I'll get C belongs to same minus four by three to zero. So that means my option should be option number three. So it was a very good question based on water equation and vectors. Very nice question. I really like this question. Correct? Because this logic is very important. Water equation logic. Let's move to the next question. Yeah. I'll give you again one minute. It's also a very nice question, guys. Let's see. Uh, if you remember, this is an objective paper. So many a times what happens, especially in coordinate geometry, that is straight line, circle, conics, vectors, and 3D. Coordinate geometry, what we can do is, we can use options to verify. Like you can say, option should satisfy some conditions. I think you must have done this many times. But then too, I am saying, we can use options in multiple ways. So this is the question where we have to use the options. Correct. Obviously, we can solve it by theoretical way, but the problem is time. If we use the options, our question will be done like this. I think the message was there. So let's say a unit vector parallel to the xy plane. So let's say my vector is xi cap plus yj cap. Why I have taken x i cap plus y j cap? Because it is parallel to x y plane. That means there will be no z or no k cap. And it is given unit vector. That is mod of a vector is 
अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर दैट मीन्स विच इज इक्वल्स टू वन सो एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर विल बी इक्वल्स टू वन एंड परपेंडिकुलर टू दिस लेट दिस वेक्टर बी बी वेक्टर दैट मीन्स ए वेक्टर डॉट बी वेक्टर इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो दैट मीन्स एक्स फोर एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई equals to zero so from equations 1 and equation 2 we can check the options whichever option satisfies our equation is my answer for now avoid the plus minus for now guys so this is not a unit vector let's say Let's check this condition. So, for option number one, this is x and this is y. So, four into three by five minus three into four by five equals to zero. Yes. So, option A is correct. Simple. other options will not satisfy the second equation you can check the second option is 4 into 4 by 5 minus 3 into 3 by 5 which is not equals to 0 that means option b is wrong let's see third sorry third is already gone let's see fourth what is the fourth option guys 4 into 3 by 5 Plus three into four by five again not equals to zero. That means it's also gone. Answer is option A. This is what I am saying. Ki why while using such methods or by while using these options, we can easily get to the answer. Many a times I am not saying every time it is true. So let's see the next question. okay this is also very good question guys i'll give you one two minutes to do this then guys let's okay let me start also if a vector is of magnitude root 3 that means magnitude of a vector is root 3 b is a making angle term with a vector okay that means theta sorry Theta is given tan inverse of one by root two. That means tan theta is equals to one by root two. Then projection of a on b. So that means I need to find what is projection of a on b. It is a cos theta. so i have tan theta i need to find cos theta so i'll use a triangle method so this is theta tan theta is opposite upon adjacent so this is basically i think root 3 right so cos theta will be equals to adjacent upon hypotenuse so that means what is my answer A cos theta will be equal to a is root three. Here given into root two upon root three. So root three and root three will get cancelled. My answer will be root two. Simple. 
So my answer is option two. This is also a good question, which is based on trigonometry and vectors. Here we use trigonometry. Correct. Let's see the next question. Yeah. Please do the question. After this, I'll do. It is also a nice question. <laughs> Actually, today every question I'm saying nice question because those are nah, like uh, comparable level questions to J. So if you are feeling comfortable with these questions, all these questions, then I say you are on the right path and you have uh, like mastered dot work for JWE mains. So you can easily get eight to twelve marks for in January shift because the chapter weightage of vectors is eight to twelve marks. At least they ask two or three MCQs of vectors. Very high weighted chapter for JWE as well as your boards. In boards also it is twelve to sixteen marks ka chapter. So yeah, let's see the question now. Uh, in right angle triangle ABC. Okay, so let's see how right angle triangle I can draw like this. Hypotenuse is AB. Let's say this is ABC, whose length is given as P. Then we have to find AB bar. Let me write it again. Dot AC bar plus BC bar dot ba vector plus ca vector dot cb vector now you can see here bc ca and cb are perpendicular so i can write it as ab vector dot ac vector plus uh isko main ulta guma do I can write minus of AB vector dot BC vector plus zero. Why I write this as zero? Because CA is perpendicular to CB. That means their dot product will be zero. Now let me take AB vector common. I'll get AC vector minus BC vector. So AB vector, the dot here. This I can write AC vector plus CB vector. Now, what does triangle law states? AC plus CB is AB. And what is dot product of vector with itself? It is AB ka square. And what is AB? AB is equals to P. So my answer is P square. Which is my option? Option number three. I hope you got it. Correct, guys. Let's see the next question. Yeah. Again, a good question. We have done this type of question. Uh, here you should. Here you need to know the formula of this. Correct. And I hope you know the formula. First, uh, before applying formula, I would like you all to go through the given. What information can be, or what equations can you form from the given information? Come on, let's see, guys. So. Read the first statement. A vector dot B vector plus C vector is equals to zero. Why? Because they are perpendicular. Comma. B vector dot C vector plus A vector is equals to zero. And lastly, C vector dot A vector plus B vector. Is equals to zero. That means a vector dot b vector is equal to zero. Here b vector dot c vector plus a vector dot b vector is equals to zero. Here 
a vector dot c vector plus b vector dot c vector is equal to z. See, uh, dot product is commutative. That means I can write a vector dot b vector or ulta b vector dot a vector. It doesn't matter. That's why I have rearranged it in ascending order. If we add these, what we'll get, you know, we'll get two times a vector dot b vector plus two times b vector dot c vector plus two times a vector dot c vector is equal to zero. Let's mark it as equation number one. Now, next given information is this a vector plus b vector is equal to six b vector plus c vector is equal to eight modulus obviously and modulus of a vector plus c vector is equal to 10. Now if I square these I'll get a vector sorry a square plus 2a vector dot b vector plus b square equals to 36. Here b square plus 2b vector dot c vector plus c square equals to 64. And here a square plus 2a vector dot c vector plus c square is equals to 100. Now if I add these what I'll get, you know, I'll get 2a square plus 2b square plus 2c square plus 2a vector dot b vector plus 2b vector dot c vector plus 2a vector dot c vector is equals to 200. This is 0. Correct? So, that means I'll get a square plus b square plus c square is equals to 100. This is equation number 2. Now, if you remember the formula, I need to find a vector plus b vector plus c vector. So, what is a vector plus b vector plus c vector plus square? It is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2a vector dot b vector plus 2b vector dot c vector plus 2a vector dot c vector. Now this all is 0. Why? From equation number 1. So that means a vector plus b vector plus c vector ka square is this. So I can write it as a vector plus b vector plus c vector ka square is 100. So what is mod of a vector plus b vector plus c vector? It is 10. Simple. This is my answer. Which option it is? Uh, option 4. So yeah, it was a calculative sum, but we got the answer because our calculations are very formal. Chalo. Our calculations are very strong, right? Let's see the next question, shall we? Yeah. Okay, it's also a good question. A very simple logical question, you can say. So we have to find what is point D. Right? It can be orthocenter, centroid, in center, circumcenter. So let's write the given condition. Here it is dot, huh? dot product 10. So the given condition is a vector minus b vector dot b vector minus c vector is equals to 0 and b vector minus d vector dot c vector minus a vector is equals to 0. So this, see, I can write it as da vector ah, dot cb vector is equals to 0. That means da is perpendicular to cb or you can say ad 
is perpendicular to BC. So let's draw a triangle here. A, I'll write it A, B, and C. And D is any point here. So they have given AD, if I extend it, is perpendicular to BC and D lies on it. That means if AD is perpendicular to BC, let's look at the second condition. This is DB vector dot AC vector is equals to zero. Uh, that means DB vector perpendicular to AC vector or I can say BD perpendicular to AC. Here also BD, if I extend this, it is perpendicular to AC. That means D is point of intersection of altitudes. Why? Because here AM and AN are altitudes. Therefore, point of intersection of altitudes is orthocenter. That means my answer is option A. It is orthocenter. Correct, guys? Let's move on to the next question. Yeah. Now, I hope you will do this because again we got this. These are very simple questions but asked many times. Sum of three vectors ka modulus. Let's see how many of y'all can do it. So I'm giving you one minute. Should I wait or should I just start? Okay. Uh, after some time, I'll start. I'll give you some time. Yeah, let's go. Okay, tell her. Let's see. Uh, ah, it is given that A vector plus B vector plus C vector ka modulus is root 6. If I square, I'll get 6. What is the square formula? A square plus B square plus C square plus 2A vector dot B vector. I'll take two common plus B vector dot C vector plus A vector dot C vector is equals to six. Now they have given equal magnitude. So let more magnitude of A vector is equal to magnitude of B vector is equals to magnitude of C vector is equals to let's say suppose K. This will be K square plus k square plus k square plus two times angle between each pair is pi by three this will be a b cos pi by three plus b c cos pi by three plus a c cos pi by three is equals to six is equals to 6. So th therefore this will be 3 k square plus 2 into cos 60 is half and a and b are k. So k square by 2 plus k square by 2 plus k square by 2 is equals to 6. So that means 3k square plus 3k square is equals to 6. So 6k square is equals to 6. So k is equals to 1. And what was k? It was 
magnitude of a is equal to 1. That means answer is option 3. Correct, guys? Let's see the next question. Yeah. Such that, then I have to find P bar. Now, again, what you can do is, guys, we can use options. We can use options. So let's use options. Let's check this condition first. So for option number one, uh, 18, nine. so option number one does not satisfy. Option number one, P bar dot C bar is not equals to 21. So go on. Let's check option number two. Option number two may be P bar dot C bar is not equals to 21. So here we go. Let's check option number three. Option number three may P bar dot C bar. Mm, 18 minus 6. 12 plus 6. So option number C be satisfying. So that means my I think it is Gadbar. Question may good mistake. It should be two, I think. Okay, let's one second wait. Uh, yeah, option four. Option four P dot C. Uh, seven minus seven plus seven. Yeah. So this is equal to twenty one. Simple. Look, a key condition me only I checked P dot C and I got the option four because first, second, and third option were not satisfying. So this is the speed you can get if you do it by using options. Not possible every time again. It is only possible sometimes. So option D. Let's see one more. Yeah. Oh, a very nice question it is. So they have given. Let me write the given first. Half. E1 and E2 are unit vectors. So E1 minus E2 is equals to sine k theta. Let me put a vector, okay? So what we'll do is square on both sides, right? So I'll get 1 by 4 into E1 square plus E2 square minus 2E1 E2 cos theta is equals to sine square k theta. If I cross multiply, it's a e1, e2 are 1. So I'll get 1 plus 1 minus 2 cos theta is equals to 4 sine square k theta. So I can take 2 common, 1 minus cos theta is equals to 4 sine square k theta. What is 1 minus cos 2 theta? It is 2 sine square theta. So I'll get 4 sine square theta by 2 is equals to 4 sine square k theta. It is very simple. Compare k is half. K is half. So option number 3, guys. Let's see the next question. Yeah. Are non-collinear. Unit vectors. Okay, simple. Again, mod. Hai na? Usually what we do, whenever in a question, we see modulus, we square on both the sides. So I'll get E1 plus E2 vector, the whole square is equal to 3. This is E1 square plus E2 square plus 2 E1 dot E2. Is equal to 3 unit vector. Na? So 1 plus 1 plus 2 e1 dot e2 is equal to 3. So that means e1 
डॉट ई टू इज हाफ इक्वेशन नंबर वन सो यू फाइंड दिस राइट लेट फाइंड इट दिस विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्स ई वन स्क्वेर प्लस टू ई वन डॉट ई टू माइनस फिफ्टीन ई वन डॉट ई टू माइनस फाइव ई टू स्क्वेर सो दिस विल बी सिक्स बिकॉज ई वन स्क्वेर इज वन माइनस थर्टीन ई वन डॉट ई टू माइनस फाइव सो सिक्स माइनस फाइव इज वन माइनस थर्टीन इन टू हाफ इज माइनस इलेवन बाई टू सो ऑप्शन इज बी अच्छा मेक इट फोर इन करेक्ट गाइस सो या आई होप यू गॉट हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन और हाउ टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन ऑन डॉट प्रोडक्ट लेट मी टेल यू वेरी क्लियरली if you feel comfortable or if you felt comfortable during the lecture solving all these questions then i would like to tell you congratulations you have mastered dot product up to je mains and you can now focus on other concepts no need to do dot product now for now theek hai till then we'll end the session here thank you everyone uh, we'll meet on monday and before monday it is sunday and sunday is diwali so yeah happy diwali to all in advance because we will be not meeting on sunday and we'll directly meet on monday and do questions on cross product till then bye bye guys take care everyone tata